You don't really know much about Halloween. Hello and welcome to another Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we're the Newly Duds. We are. <laughs> and today we've got a new kind of snack for you. Um, we've done dessert kind of things before, mm -hmm. but uh, mo most of the time we do chippies, snacky, cracker kind of things. Um, but today we've got Mr. Beast's candy bars. And they got a little smushed because they were in my purse, but... Um, but they're not melted. They're not either. melted, no. I'm taking it from you. But yeah, Mr. Beast, <clears throat> we're going to start with the chocolate, milk chocolate bar. Um, it's only five ingredients in it. More noms, more prizes, more beasts. Oh, so you can win prizes, I think, if you scan there. And it goes to their Facebook page, it looks like. And then we're also trying these nuts. And we're going to um, try these nuts. These are made by Feastables. By, they're from Chicago. It yep. says Feastable Chicago, designed in Greenville, North Carolina, and it's a product of Peru. Yeah, I believe he's out of NC, but I don't so know. So it's not vegan. It is vegetarian, though. It says cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liqueur, organic milk, and organic vanilla powder, and that's it. So um, there's some cute little guys here on the back. I don't know if you can see that. You know where we found these? Menards. Menards. We like to save places. big money. We were at Menards. At and um, Menards. Laura's like, hey, look at that. And she's like, should we do those for a snack? And I'm like, yes, we should. I can't get it open, though. There we go. I kept, I was hoping there was like a golden ticket inside. And we were going to go know. meet him at the chocolate factory. And he'd oh, give my us God. That'd be amazing. Dollars. Or he would like, you know, take us to that weird Willy Wonka thing that that guy made. Oh, I don't want to go there. It's sad. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just going to. Do that? Oh. Share. It's, it says share. It says something on the front. It oh, just says share. share. And then it says devour. devour. Okay. Yeah, yeah, see, it says share in the chocolate. Hide your face. Hide your face. All right, so are you just going to break off gonna, something proper? You get to eat Shaw. I'm going to eat Shaw. And I'll eat Reed. <clears throat> so this is just the regular, nothing fancy, just plain. Smells good. Chocolate. Cheers cheer. before you cheer. chew. She's like, I'm going to chew before I cheer. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting the whole thing on. Hmm. It's a pretty light chocolate. You know? There's definitely milk chocolate. It's a little bitter, but not. I don't think it's bitter at all. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, it's pretty light, wouldn't you say? It's not like a Hershey. I mean, it's almost like a Hershey's, but like Hershey's has like a distinct Hershey flavor. Yeah, it's very specific. Um, it's got like a almost like a. It's a, try more? It's a no, yeah, because that was that was equal to a couple mm -hmm. of big bites. Um, it definitely has kind of like almost a. It's not like dark chocolate, like I said. It's it doesn't have a. It's a little bit on that side of it. Hmm. I feel like like it's a little bit bitter, but not to the unpleasant. To me, it's not level. at all. No, you don't think so? No. Yeah, let's try. Sorry, I'm on. trying to cleanse my palate before we toy with everything. He's got all of the drinks. He is a uh, I don't care what they're called. Burr. Yeah, drink troll or something like that. <laughs> drink a drink troll? Goblin. Get out from right? under my bridge. Isn't it a beverage goblin? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, you know, like our friend B, the goblin. Uh huh. Is, is she a goblin? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's what she calls herself. That's adorable. Hi, B. Hi, B. Um, I don't think you're a goblin. I think you're a beautiful princess. 
<laughs> pretty princess. She is. Uh, but no, yeah, we're we're. Uh, I'm a beverage goblin, and if you just look up the song "Beverage Goblin," and you'll get to enjoy. And then check out the 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 artist's other music because it's all fun. That's weird. What? It does like this. You're trying to win prizes while we're recording. Yeah, I'm just. It won't. Usually my phone is really good at picking up QR codes, but your QR code's not working there, Mr. Beast. My phone is terrible at picking up mm -hmm. QR codes, so we'll try that later. And if we win, you'll know. Will ya? No. Um, this um, is milk chocolate with peanut butter. It is grass-fed milk. So the milk has been fed grass before it was uh, put into the so chocolate. it's grassy. You gotta keep it in a cool place. Mm -hmm. It's very grassy. Cane sugar, organic uh, coconut butter, organic uh, liqueur... Chocolate liqueur, sorry. Uh, organic milk, peanuts, salt, and organic vanilla powder. I like the fact that it's all like, <clears throat> you know, decent ingredients and stuff like that. Decent. Or so they say. I like, well, I like a little salty chocolate. It says the same thing. The same thing. It says Why share. It looks like a tire tread. Sure devour. Looks like a tire tread. Give me the whole the piece. Whole part right. of share. I'm just going to. Oh, in that case, I'm going to break off something proper. Oh, wait. Break off. Smells the same. Yep. Great, part, part two. Part two. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I like to just let chocolate melt. I don't like to chew it. But trying to find a middle ground here. Otherwise, I'll be here a while. I do taste the peanuts. Do you? Mm -hmm. I don't. Not yet, anyway. Something wrong, br wrong. Something's wrong with my brown potato. Something's mm -hmm. broken with my palate. My palate, apparently. Mm hmm. I can taste it. It's huh. really subtle. I'm gonna try a second bite, but it's a really light tasting chocolate and a really light tasting peanut butter. You're making a face. Mm -hmm. Is this what these nuts taste like in my mouth? Oh, is that why you're making that face? I wish I could get the QR code to work. Hmm. I want to win some prizes and some beasts. I'm not a fan. I'm going to say it right now. I'm sorry. I got it to work. It takes you to a link tree. And then it asks you, like, what country you're in. And we're walking through this now? Yeah, I'm just letting them know. And it, it's Feastables, Mr. Beast Feastables website. Kind of, yeah. And then you can watch more Mr. Beast. You can help them make um, products. You can join the crew or you can chat. And then it's got a TikTok, X, <clears throat> and then uh, Instagram on the bottom. It doesn't even have Facebook, which is... Interesting, because it's got a little F. The Facebook logo there? Oh, but... maybe it's Feastables. Maybe that's uh, their logo. It looks like the, feast, the That's Facebook what it logo. is. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was the Facebook logo. Sorry. Real quick, we should probably write this before we go too, down, too far down this rabbit hole. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh. On a scale so, of 1 to 10. Uh, Wait, did we write the first one too? No. So, is it for both, or just we're doing them in separately? Um... Let's do both. I have very differing opinions. Okay, so separate. So, yeah, the regular the first one out of ten, like a five. Um, this one I I might I actually go with a, a a six on that one, and on this one, like a four, like two, a two, huh? It just it doesn't it doesn't it's not a memorable dessert. It's not a memorable chocolate. It's not a memorable anything. Like That's I funny. feel. A little sad about it. Actually. Tastes like they put the peanut shells in it, and they didn't wash them first, and it's just salty peanut shells that they ground up into the chocolate. I didn't feel like that. There was like actually like a little layer of peanut butter in the middle of it. But this was just the chocolate itself without the dirty peanut shells, and it was it was I again. It's not like I wouldn't go to either one like right away and be like, I want this today. The packaging's but, cute, so I would be drawn in all automatically with the packaging. So I'm like, oh, that looks. And you if know, it's fun. going towards any of his, any of his charitable uh, outings, right? I'm all for supporting that sort of. Uh, yes. You know, 
content on the internet. So anyway, it's a good try. We we wanted to try his burgers, but we have yet to have that opportunity. Yeah. Um, when we were on our honeymoon um, a couple of years ago, we were looking around for a I'm place to go. But yeah. Um, anyway, I'm sure as he continues to grow, that might be a, a thing that gets around here. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yeah. Did you want to do anything more about the website? Or? No, I was just saying I finally got that thing to work. And then uh, it looks like uh, it just has like, you know, watching Mr. Beast and, and helping. It's like a survey. So we didn't joining the crew. On that one uh, it doesn't look like there's any contesty kind of things. Yeah. It just says, welcome to Feastables. And then, mm. yeah, I don't know about the more prizes. Maybe there's, maybe if you click around, we'll find out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it asks like a. That's funny. <laughs> it's 17 to 19, and then it's like, you know, it has different categories, and it's like 45 or older. So we're just grouped into the old people, which this is, is not hilarious. For us, apparently. Yeah, and, it, and it, yeah, it goes down like a survey kind of thing. I'm just, you know, male, female, non binary, or prefer not to say, which I like. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. So if you want to find more of this content, check us out at thenewlydeads.com uh, for all the things that are available for Newly Deads related content and uh, things that we create. You can also shoot us an email at contact at thenewlydeads.com for any questions, comments, concerns you may have for us, including Mr. Beast, if you want to reach out and have a chat. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. All right. Except well, for. Thanks for watching. And, uh, now it's time to quit yakking and get back to snacking. Bye. Should be done, you see. Between the real and the unreal, the dead might be looking at Halloween. The festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.